TV's Good Life shows off the good things happening right here in our own backyards. It's a local show featuring local artists. It's all about family, tradition, about working hard and playing harder. It's all local every weekday morning. Local features that revolve around your life. MTV's Good Life on MTV. Hello friends, thank you for joining us this morning. Hope the sun is shining where you are this morning. Was it shining when you came in? I haven't it was. been outside, yep. so. And it was shining when I went outside and you know, I have some I have a hanging basket that I brought in last fall. Okay. It was I was I had it growing in the house all this winter and now it's outside, so I positioned that to get some sun. Is today. it a begonia? No, I don't know what it is, but it's got these really pretty pink flowers that bloom on. I'll have to find out what it is. Yeah. I'll have to ask our flower expert next time she comes in. Which I, will be Wednesday, hopefully. Yes. Um, but yeah, so I did that this morning. It was mm -hmm. still chilly out, but you know, it was nice to yeah. feel the sun. So Yesterday yeah. was a good day. It was a little chilly, but windy, so. I w really windy. Yeah. I was hoping to do some yard work last night when I got home, but man, it was cold with that wind. I went for a walk and so, man, I, I, it felt when you walk and you're tired, the wind feels like it's hitting you at every direction and it's not, but it, yesterday it really felt like it was hitting me in all directions. So anyway, so yesterday we asked you because somebody failed to do her job. No, she didn't. She's and just a busy gal no, in the no. morning. Yeah. Busy. So you guys asked us. So some we questions, there's so. a couple of the ones that we wanted to get to. Yes. Um, let me see. So we're gonna have, yeah answer some of your questions today. Sharla said, "What are you having for supper tonight?" That's that's one of those questions that. <laughs> ah, yeah, exactly. I don't know. Whatever you're having, Sharla, let us know. Yeah. Well, you know, I did look for chicken in my freezer because I was gonna make some chicken. Um, really, Carol baked chicken. Yeah, imagine, imagine that. that. And and I we're all out of chicken, unless it was in the basement <gasps> freezer and I didn't want to run downstairs to the basement and dig it out. I wanted to make chicken um, enchiladas. Good for you. I, know, I just had, I saw a recipe and I thought, oh, I can make that. That would be a good one. But yeah. that we're not having that because yeah. we don't have any chicken. Um, so. David wants to know, is winter over? Yes. Man, let's pray yes. so. Yes. Let's pray so. How could it not be, right? Yes. Judy asks a really good question. What is your favorite time of the day? Ooh, that is a good question. What's yours? Honestly? I know when mine is. When's yours? I have several. Yeah? Tell I don't us know. Just one. I don't just know. Need one. I'm just going to say 3.15. 3.15 a.m. Okay. And yours? Mine is right, around, right after dinner time, this time of the year when it's daylight savings time because I love it when... Okay, dinner's done, cleaning up is done, and I can just maybe go out for a walk or go out to my garden or go out and do something or that's my favorite. You're walking that, during my bedtime, so. Yeah, I, I do. That's when James and I will go out is after dinner time. So that's, that's my a, favorite That's time. a really good question. Jan yeah. goes, asks, do you get together outside of work? Not really. The world wouldn't be the same if True we story. saw us in public. True story. Although we do want to go to New York together, so. Just because no one there will know us. Nobody, somebody will that's, say, oh, that's Carol Staub. Uh, that's Ronnie me. Lewitt. No, no. I'm Trust from Oxford, me. so no, it would be someone from Oxford. But we do want to go, we do want to, we do want to go on a trip together, either with or without our husbands. We haven't decided. Well, New York would be without them because then we could paint yeah, the yeah. town all different colors. That could be, um, that, <laughs> that could be, be very fun. interesting. Yeah, that'd be <clears> fun. So. Okay. And then Don, well, I had, Sir Don said, what is your favorite spring flower? <gasps> Ooh, I, I don't know all of, the, all of them. I can't pick just one. How about you? I don't have one. I, I mean, really all don't. All the ones I pick for my garden for summertime. I just, yeah, I don't know if I have. That's probably really spring, good if we're see, talking spring, I would have to say tulips because in the wintertime when you say tulips, you know, starting to pop out, mm -hmm. it just shouts spring and summer. Yeah. So I would say tulips for I was, spring flowers. I was on a walk the other day and yeah. there was a tulip, I think I showed you the picture of it, on my walk and I had to stop and take a picture of it. It was so pretty. So yes. Mrs. Bunnell, that was a very, very, very pretty yes. tulip. Okay, and then we have one more. We've okay. got to get to this. This was brought to you by Art Hansen. This was his question. Okay. Because we're kind of famous for the thumbs up, two words, thumbs up, thumbs yes. down. This is genius, I'm going to say. Is this, is this a thumb up, thumbs up, thumbs down? Yes, okay. it is Fig Newtons. 
grew up on those, grew up on fig, and there's a certain way to eat them too. How about you? Not, no. <laughs> oh, man, my, oh, we, no. Yes. Why? Oh, Why? we grew up on those. You eat the sides well, first. Then, and, and then, then throw the it. rest away? No, then you eat, then you can eat it. You just have to eat the sides off first. Yeah, oh, like date bars. Does anyone know what a date bar yes, is? Yes, I do. I love those. Grew up eating, those were a treat See, in our now house. Art Hansen, thank you for sharing that. He gives that two thumbs up. Donna yeah. has three thumbs down. Lisa says, uh, no, thank you. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, my gosh. Mary a... said on the Fig Newtons, but down on the Fig Newtons, but likes apple and blueberry Newtons. Uh, the, I've I never heard like that. That would be good. I think I've seen them, I, but I would like, I would eat those. <laughs> Denise Christensen, aren't they good for you? Yes. Because they remind you of childhood. Rita said, used to beg mom to buy them when I was yeah, a child. See? Could still eat the whole package in one sitting. Rita. Hobson. They're kind of like date bars, really. Yeah. Anna said thumbs up. Donna said thumbs down. Shirley Bell gives it three thumbs up. Arthur positive thumbs up. Woo woo. And Kay says not unless I have to spend the next day. Yeah, not good. Oh, keep going down. Keep, can you keep? Uh, what? Are we going to see something funny? Amber Lamb. <laughs> yep. Amber, say? you and I, sister. Amber. You and I. Come on. So, With a little bit of milk and your Fig Newtons fig right Newtons. after dinner. My that grandma was, Bernice loved them. Yeah. Me, not funny. so much. So anyway, yeah. let us know if you are a lover of fig. Thank you very yeah. much for um, sharing that idea with us. Yeah, and if you have other fun. two words, thumbs up, thumbs down, we'd love to hear yeah. them. So anyway, That's we good. have got a great show for you coming up today on Interviews. Good night. We got a little bling. Yeah, bling, 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 bling. Put this in someone's Easter basket for this time of the year or any other special occasion coming up. There's lots of them. And Hawthorne Jewelry is here to Give us a sneak peek at all of it. And you're in for a treat. Look who's back. They are back. Kevin and Heidi Chang join us for another fantastic performance. And they're going to tell you where you can hear them, too. Coming up next on MTV's Good Life.